Boom! We're back, ladies and gentlemen. What's cracking? Little Fire Crotch Fridays, movies, reviews, normally with Ginger, but today we're stuck with a Hawaiian. So, I don't understand what's happening, but apparently he's hungry. You buy me breakfast, so I'm going to eat it. It's early. Uh, when most of you guys are asleep, we're putting in that work. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, um, we're talking about some good movies, good TV shows. And what to review for you guys. A couple of you guys threw us some good options, and we'll get to them slowly but surely. I may not be as good as Firecrotch, but I'll try to live up to his name. I mean, hope My sure. entire leg just cracked when I did that. Wow. <laughs> um, so the movie we're talking about is Shang-Chi. Ten Rings. You know what? I feel, something's missing. What? Oh, I know what's missing. My wow. Ten, my ten rings. Hold on. So, in speaking about ten rings, my dude brought ten fucking bracelets because he's a weirdo. I don't, I don't know if he's having a seizure or what's happening. <laughs> I might have pooped a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, back to Shang-Chi. Good movie. Actually, great great movie. movie. Like, yeah. <laughs> Jinx. Damn, dude. Jinx, buy me a Coke. Oh, snap, man, we're still saying the same thing. This is amazing. Carrots, pumpernickels, glow sticks, twins. <laughs> um, I was a huge fan. I love some Marvel movies do not need that much comedy in it. Like, they should be about the superhero. And, right. But this movie had the comedy when you needed it. It mm -hmm. had the drama when you needed it. It had the action, the action. when you needed it. Mm -hmm. Had all the right things. I think it was a slept-on movie. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know I why so that too. movie wasn't marketed more. Because it was better than the new Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. It's better than the new Thor, no offense. Um, better than the new Thor. I haven't seen the new Thor yet. Yeah, it's not bad. But it's, <clears> it, it, I would watch Shang-Chi like ten times over before I watch that. Get it? Ten times over? Ten rings? Yeah. See what it did Probably I've watched it about ten times at least. So, uh, if you haven't seen it, go see it. Spoilers. All that good jive. I mean, it's been out for a while, so you should have seen it. Great movie. But, um... Uh... Best scene of the movie, for me, everyone loves the ending, but for me personally, it's the bus scene. It is too, because that's all of, that's you and me, for sure. Like, it's hilarious. He has this reoccurring dream, where he's like, where he always tells me, he's like, this guy. He goes, I just, one day I want to just walk in a, can we put that on there? That story you told me? Yeah, so what I tell them, and I've told a couple of my <clears throat> students the same thing, like, you know, I've lost a few people along the way due to whatever and I said if I ever found out I was sick I would go out with one last raw and one of those last raws is to wrap my hands walk into one of the most gangster bars I could think of pick a group of dudes and just see how many dudes I could take out on a bar before I got scrapped so, and while we film it yeah 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 just see how many guys I can get through before you know I get beat with chairs and stabbed but so he uh I give he, you at least I, I give you at least 10 I, I should be able to do okay. You, you get to like 10. But yeah, that scene on the bus, for those of you who haven't seen it, they start fighting. And that's the funniest shit I've ever seen because that is totally me with the phone. And the dude got, that goes live, yo, what's up? We're live on the bus. I'm going to try to rate this fight as we're going because I took some Taekwondo when I was a kid. Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Clev coming at you live on the bus. I actually did take a little bit of martial arts as a youth. So I'm going to try and grade this fight as we're going. Um, <laughs> and he's like going live with the fight. And that is totally me. The scene where they pan away and the cameraman's like, yeah, and here comes Frankie flying in with his fucking kick. Just, yeah. I'm like, that is totally us. That is 100. percent Yeah, the comedy in it. Yeah, I that mean, movie has the great Morgan Freeman comedy look balance. like bus driver. That guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the way, if you haven't seen Morgan Freeman do helium, that is the funniest shit of my life. That's pretty. Oh good. my god. <laughs> Comment below. Who would you want to have narrate your life, Morgan Freeman or Denzel Washington? Ooh, I'm gonna hit you with another one. Neither. One, wow! I want who? Jason Momoa. Really? His, his documentaries when he does them, the way he that's talks. That's pretty true. They're really good. That's very true. So Jason, when I go, you better fucking. Sorry, you better narrate my life story, Holmes. And I'm Hawaiian, so hey, got it in there. I'm in it. So the ten rings are give basically the wear eternal life and power. Power. Like there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with that, but you had to be wearing them, mm -hmm. right? 
but it's also the rings take you over, kind of make you feel a certain type possessive, of- and you just crave more like more energy and more like skill sets, or you always just you're never settled. Yeah, you're just like hungry for more power and like dictator shit. Right, but see how powerful that thing is. This dude <clears throat> gave up the rings for that thing thing, and when I say that thing thing, I mean that. <clears throat> Some cream cheese wonton. Probably can't put that in there, but whatever. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So, this guy gave up all of it for that dang dang, mm-hmm. which gave up his power, right? And for creating all the, you know, you have to answer for some of the things you do in life. Right. And when people came to see him about what he had done in his previous life before meeting her, um, he wasn't home to protect her. Mm-hmm. And they took the wife out. So the two kids, and it was only Shang Chi. Yeah. So the two kids got to see. Unfortunately, saw their mom pass away, mm-hmm. and dad came home, snapped, lost his mind, got back into his ten ring shit. Yep. Put went, them back on. Went and punished the dude <clears throat> who did it, and then from that point forward, just wanted his kids to be absolute assassins. Yep. To make sure that never happened to anyone again. To a breaking point where Shang Chi saw what it turned him into, yeah. and. Broke the cycle because ten rings possess you, but Shang Chi didn't get into that like that trance, right? Because his dad was just he did he saw red the whole well, the whole that thing too. But he thought if he could find uh, whatever what the, the dragon eyes and do all these things that he could bring his wife back right and find her mm-hmm. right. So he was possessed on getting her back because to him she was stolen and there was a way to get her back. So, I understand that. I mean, if I lost someone I love, yeah. I'd do what I could to get her back. Right. So, um, that was kind of the movie, how it sets off to the journey of, you know, the dad finding his kids. Because, you know, he doesn't really know how to hide himself. Because he went from his non name from being from Shang to Shang. <laughs> <laughs> the best part. <coughs> well, I don't know what her name is, but the comic who's, like, the girl who's with him. The leading role. She's a... F- like hilarious comedian but her in a serious role it's hard to take her seriously mm-hmm. you just see her and you just want to crack a joke and she's all like and she's very com- she, she does have a comedic role in this movie so oh yeah it works it fits her she she was like you go into hiding and change the name from shang to sean it's like if my name is gina and i go into hiding i'm like hey my name's gina <laughs> i mean it's true you know I mean? it's like if it's michael and you go into hiding as michael yeah um he tries sean I really want to know how to pronounce it. Peter, you should teach me how to do this. By the way, Peter, you're in this movie, too. F- uh, yeah. <laughs> Big facts. I s- all good. I speak ABC. Yeah. Oh, all good. I speak ABC. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. Look, hey, man, racial stereotypes are there for a reason. That shit's They're fucking true. funny. And it's right. funny. And yes. it's comical. Just lighten up, people. It's got to be so goddamn serious. It's a serious. good time. It's a good time. You know what I mean? I remember back in the day, be like, fuck you, slant ass. Hey, fuck you, round eye. <laughs> That shit to me cracked me up when I heard that shit. I I think I fucking was in tears when I heard someone call him around. I was like, "Holy shit, you did the reverse! Like, <laughs> you could do that." Like Ari Spears joke. He's like, "I love my Asian friends, but I can't smoke with y'all. Y'all fuck up my high." <laughs> I be thinking you're dead over there, Ching Lee. <laughs> well then, wake up your eyes or something. Do something with them. Yeah. <laughs> they go to find the sister. She's a bitch. You know what I mean? It's his fault that he left. Blah 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 blah. Which I guess as a child I would understand, you know. Yeah. I want your brother to come home, but he had to go, not be a crazy assassin because the dad was a lunatic. Mm-hmm. But sister, sis, sister became a gangster. Yeah, no, she was good. Grew up, but she grew up much like her dad. Uh huh. She wants the power. She wants those things. She's not as innocent as she portrays to be. Yep. Um. <clears throat> so your take, mom was a dragon. What? Mom was the dragon at the end. Like, once they go to her village and the dragon it's comes out. an interesting out, take. I never thought of that. Because when he looked in the eyes, it was like, this thing protects us. Da, 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 da. What an Easter egg. Man, he's good at that. Yeah. I'll tell you this right now. Me and movie reviews, like, guessing shit, I'm terrible at. I love looking over concepts of movies. But, like, let's say a scene is coming up, right? And I'll never forget. One of my friends and I went to go see Fast and Furious 5 in theaters. And I don't know if any of you saw it, but that scene where they are in the last chase scene and they come under the bridge and like that's where they scooped the safe up in the trash can. I was like, uh, I didn't even see that part coming. Didn't even think about that. I was like, oh, the money's in there. No, it's not. Like, I'm terrible at guessing endings. 
I never thought of the mom as the dragon. Yeah. That's great, actually. Like her spirit? Mm-hmm. Where all the time was, you know how the dad was like going crazy because he heard her voice? Yeah. Thinking it was behind the wall and it was the bad one? Mm-hmm. It may be, w- like she maybe was talking to him, but from the, like from the dragon's voice maybe. Might be some of yeah, that. Yeah, well, the, the, behind the wall, that was the pers- that was the evil talking to the dad to get him. She knew she could play on that to get yeah. out. And she, that, that spirit did that to others in the previous parts of history. The dragon scales, how they That's, yeah. fight the spirits and shit. That mm-hmm. shit was awesome. The Numbness, best part? Shooting the bow and arrow. What is, what is big dude's name from Creed? That big f- who, who fought? The boxer, Drago? Yeah. yeah, Drago's son, basically. He was funny. They're like fighting and he's like, they realize their swords can't work against the Talo creatures, right? Right. And so then one creature comes over and like eats one of their guys. But then he was like, we don't need your guys' help. We can, we are the Ten Rings squad or whatever. And then like the one of the creature eats one of his friends. He's like, we we should work together. <laughs> <laughs> Which was weird to see him in like a vulnerable state mm-hmm. because you're seeing him as that. You knew, you're seeing him as beating the fuck out of Creed and that's it. He was good though. Yeah. Yeah. He was good in the beginning of the movie too because he, he held that same. Yep. That stoic just. That same and then you Creed saw him like. With that fucking car that was like. The just total. The, 16 year old Asian girl car, <laughs> yeah. razor fist in bold gra- graffiti font yeah. on the side of his car. Yeah. Like, wait, this what guy. The hell? Like, this is Drago's son? Yeah. No, what? And, and in that moment, he can took on a completely different, typical Disney woke yep. pussy. You know what I mean? It kind of transformed a this little bit. This man can't be a man. Let's make him a bitch because he's too much of a man. Let's make him razor fist with pink, Pussies. pink letters. God, Disney, what are you doing, man? He's just fucking up some great movies. What was your favorite part of Ten Rings? There's like three. On a comedic side, that f- the bus fight scene. Because that is totally us, and I see all of us in that movie, in that scene too. Um, <clears throat> but the, the scene at the very end when his dad realizes that, it, that he did wrong, but he saves Shang-Chi anyway. Mm-hmm. Like, sa- like, spoiler alert, sacrifices himself to save his son. Yeah. Because he looks down at him and he realizes... Yeah, I was wrong about this. But he basically, like, he transfers his rings to him. Mm-hmm. That's when you saw, like, I love that part. Because that's when he, like, father the son knew. Like, he's like, you're going to take over this and you're going to do it right. But I think Shang-Chi, I think that part, hell yeah. But I think the dad also understood, like, hey, not only does he possess all of the things I've taught him. But he's greater. But also his mother. Yeah. Right, who was the only one to ever defeat the dad. Mm-hmm. So for him to have both made him a better yeah and he i think the dad knew it because like, it's that he's the evolution of the of, of both of us, let's him, let him take over that's right because that fight scene emulates the fight scene from the parents in the beginning too correct and that's what's cool like it's tripping out you're watching the same watching the father and son fight but it's the mom in like like you yes. said he's got the mom in him too yeah so he's what the dad was and better yeah you know so to see where Shang Chi goes from here, I mean, it's gonna be pretty cool. The after credits, though, you saw that, right? Yeah, with the dude from um, Doctor <coughs> Strange, the big Asian dude. No, the sister. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. She was the evil one, so she's the. She so, was supposed to get rid of or go back to make sure that they were shutting down dis- the operations, and all. now she's like doing it her own way. Yeah. Oh, fuck. So, but. She doesn't possess the Ten Rings, nor will she, so she's just going to get that ass stomped out. I'm like, I'm hoping, that, I don't know how it's going to play out with that, but I hope it's not a a dad part two where she just gets so like... No, that's exactly what it's going to be. I know. God damn, why you guys always... This ain't going to be in there, but why you bitches always got to fuck everything up? <laughs> I'm definitely leaving right in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving that too. Oh, no, you're not. Yes, no, I you're am. not. No, you're not. <laughs> I get to edit, which sometimes is a lot of work, but sometimes it's kind of fun because you know you get to embarrass people. I know the editing AKA process. The, last vlog. the editing process. Is... Oh, <laughs> <coughs> take that, you burning devil spawn, spawn of Satan! Satan! <laughs> take that, you wicked spawn of Satan! <laughs> great, great vlog. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Link in the description. <sighs> um, what was your favorite scene? Same comedic one, definitely the bus. 
for sure. Um, and then I liked when um, the aunt, uh -oh. the sister, was teaching this, teaching him. Good one. Right. Mm -hmm. he, now he was like, how did my mom beat? She was the only one to beat him to show me how she how? did it. Yeah. Right. Because and aunt not, just went full on gangster. Well, because everyone thinks fighting is always brutal. And uh -huh. for me, being a fighter, you understand really fast that fighting fire with fire is not always the answer. Yeah. Right. Sometimes you have to use that things, those things against people and you have to be smart to do it. So that was that like, oh, wait, this actually does. This would work like right. to come at it like a gentle way. Not well, you just not use it. Gentle. If this guy is using force and he's constantly pushing, change the shift, mm, uh -huh. shift the momentum. There you go. Let him go by. <laughs> And then when their balance is upset, you can take advantage of that, right? And that was it. It was that constantly because this person was so aggressive. It's like the people you meet on the streets and they come into the gym and, well, I'm fucking tough. I'm a street fighter. You don't fuck me, bro. Once I see yeah. red, you're fucked. No, okay. So what you're telling me is once I make you angry, you're stupid. You forget all about everything. You just want to come straight at me. You're not thinking balance, countermeasures, defense. You're only thinking aggression. And yeah. that kind of person's easy to beat. Mm -hmm. It sounds scary because that person's angry and they're yelling and they're screaming but if you as the fighter can stay calm and keep your eyes and your wits about you you can see everything happening yeah right? i know what to look for good fighters know what to look for you look you see the feet the hips the shoulders all the eyes. tells you see all the little things happening right mm -hmm. and those big movements that they make so when people do make those big movements it's easy to capitalize on them you know so I, uh, that part of the movie to me was super cool because it plays into it's, what we teach her. It's relatable to you. A lot of people have come at you with smoke, but you have figured out how to like, whether it be just fighting or life for you, mm -hmm. you have done like, I've always seen you do this drill where you're like, you know, yeah. you're like, you're not like you're this big super heavyweight, but you're maneuvering around yeah. pe people's fire and you're coming back 10 times as hard, well, but I in a smart way. Because super heavyweight is a big class and I'm a big guy. And to most people, I'm pretty big. But in super heavyweight, I was not very big. Right. You're I'm fighting guys feet, like... 280, 300 oh. pounds when I was fighting. So most people are 6'4", six, 6'8", six, that I fight 450 pounds. 400 Basically, pounds. you fought a full-on tree. Yeah. So Jesus. big guys like that were like, oh, shit. What was that so, story you told me of the... the I think it was a Samoan guy where you like punched him and he just went right through it and he came back at you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Jesus. It was a... Big Samoan dude I fought, and he was, uh, it was the only fight where I ever was upset. I won, but the first round I hit him, like, clean, and his face just was like, boom. Like, and kept I slapped coming. him. I'm like, what the fuck? And I hit like a truck. I mean, I know I punch. And I kick like a mule. And I kicked him so fucking hard, and he just kept coming. Like, what the ass is happening right now? Jesus and Christ. And I'm bouncing around the ring, trying to stay out of the corner, not let him pin me to hurt me, right? Hitting, tick, 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 landing probably at least three to one, at least on him. More. Yeah. So the bell rang. I was like, easy round as far as scoring on him. Difficult round as far as cardio because you had to move so much. Right. And as a super heavyweight, staying on your toes and bouncing, even with good conditioning, is not typical. Right. So I looked at my corner. I was like, yo, bro, there's no way I got three or four rounds left of this shit. That's insane. And all of a sudden the bell rang and we're looking. What the fuck? And he couldn't stand up. His leg was trash. So Chopped it down. Yeah, fight ended. So that Cut. way was cool. The downfall was is I felt like I lost mentally because I doubted myself in the corner. Like I beat myself up about it. So it was a great learning lesson because from that point forward, I really believed in my skill set because I now understood the human body is not meant to take that kind of damage. Yeah. And we're all taught as fighters to have a poker face. Don't show it. Right. So, okay, you may not show it, but I know. But you did work. That even through all that size, all that mass, all that muscle, right, I was still able to penetrate his armor, right? Like, I could still get through. Even though he's not going to show me, I know I hurt him. Right. So now anyone else, okay, you may not show me, but now I look for much subtler tells, right? It could be a quick grimace like, like that. Uh -huh. just, just anything. I'm like, ooh, gotcha. You know what I mean? So now I look for micro expressions versus that big, ooh, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And you start learning to read and movements, balance, like just little things. If they're constantly doing this and all of a sudden they stop, something might be wrong with the leg where they can't bend it. So they're just going to stay stationary for a quick second 
and then you'll see Moon try to pick back up. Then you attack that same. You know what I mean? Yep. A lot All of those the tells. Of things. <clears throat> so how how big was that guy? Uh, he wasn't very tall. He was maybe a six two. Like, oh really? Not very big, but he's wide as a house. Because Samoans are built different. And fucking trunks like. When you kick, I remember when I was home, I went like this, I like crossed my legs, and I put my leg on top of my other leg. And, and it hurt? Like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> like, I didn't get hit with anything crazy, but you my checked s- shins, no. He didn't check any kick. No, you were checking his kicks. Yeah, but my shin was sensitive from hitting his legs oh. so much, because they were so fucking Fuck. hard. That's right. You know what I mean? It's just these trunks of muscle. Like, this guy had to play fucking football or something. I don't know. Of course. Or they rugby, all- whatever. But I mean, this fucking... I kicked that dude. He was like, ding, ding. freaking just steal. I was like, shit, man. <laughs> Jesus. Um, but yeah, good times. Great times. When it comes to Shang Chi two, what storyline you think? Like, what would you like to see with how the storyline goes? You want to see brother and sister fight, then reunite? You want to see sister kind of get knocked off her horse because she's being a little turd? I would like to see them incorporate Shang-Chi into the Avengers. Yeah. I would like to see him, like, them collectively as a group, like, like the last Doctor Strange movie with the Black Widow and all that stuff and how they were trying to incorporate, like, other people and see Mm -hmm. what's happening and why. I would like to see him incorporated in other movies somehow. Do you know where Shang-Chi relates to all the comics? Like, where does he come in? No, see, I was never a reader of all the comics like that. I grew up watching X Men and the cartoons and shit, so I never fell that deep into it. I collected Marvel cards in the '90s, right? Like I still have them. Cool collection. Yeah, but I don't. I never followed comics too much. Like I was always into sports and doing stuff, so I didn't yeah. have all that. And I was then, I was playing golf. And then there was always like you know the financial aspect. You know we weren't yeah. going up fucking yeah. card shops and comic book stores to buy comics. My, my comic cards were, that was my first job in sales. Was right? it? Oh, dude. I was able to trade the shittiest cards for the nice <laughs> cards and work my way up to stuff. So it's like, yeah. I'll give you this and this for that. Knowing I had two or three more of these shitty ones. So mm-hmm. if I gave these away, even though I gave three cards away for one, this card's more valuable than three that I already have. Right? Yep. So... That was my way of like, okay, this is how you work, and this is how you trade, and this is how you, how you sell people. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> I never got to really buy things. I had to figure out how to barter. And barter. Trade. Yep. So I would always work my way up from. I did that with cell phones all the time as a kid. I Trading the, cell phones. I had the shittiest little Nokia ding ding, ding and that got me ding, 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 like ding. a a razor. The razor got me one of those little sidekick things. The sidekick thing got me. You had a sidekick. For, yeah, for of a, course for you a did. hot minute. Remember when the Razor came out and it was like the most revolutionary thing? It wasn't for me when I first saw the Razor. It wasn't even. It was a a social like a status, you know. Yeah. So if you had that, you were a baller. You're a bad motherfucker. You know, flick it. Great. I'll never forget that commercial where I was like a kid and I ca- saw the commercial come out where it was like the Razor flipped open and it was like just falling and it was like, few, few, and then it stabbed into the ground like a razor. Yeah. And it was like, Fitting! and then I was like, whoa, I want one. <laughs> Power of commercials. Yeah, marketing works um i would love to see shang chi in the like i like imagine that fight scene against thanos if shang chi was in it too i bet you he wasn't it we just didn't see it probably they, little Howard easter eggs the duck was in it and i didn't he was yeah how was the duck's a marvel character in the well he was in the fight scene yeah Oh, I'm going to go back and watch it now. I didn't you even see him. You only see him for a split second as they're scrolling through the pan, and you'll see him in there. And I really? Was like, Look at Howard the Duck. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even... I, didn't even, I bet if we scroll through again, Shang-Chi is just somewhere in there. It's got to be. I'll put the Howard the Duck scene in there. That's the best... That's the That fight scene, I watched that over and over again just for motivation. Yeah, it's a good scene. Because when Black Panther walks through, I may be wearing 10 rings, but in reality, Wakanda forever. Hey, man, I was hella down with the Black Panther movie. That shit was dope. Yep. I don't know if I'm going to be down with the new one, though. I want to get behind it. I'm going to give it a chance. If it's just like how you said from Love and Thunder, if it's like a little piece. My whole thing is, man, just fuck. If it's if his sister is going to be the Black Panther, I'm pissed. Come on, man. Come on. The theory we've all been talking about here. 
the awesome theories that have been pa- that people are saying is to bring back Killmonger with the Infinity Stones. Right, that'd be awesome to bring back Killmonger <clears throat> to take the mantle, right, as his brother because he let him. They had a nice talk at the end, that, uh, and he uh, softened his heart, and he was you know correct. turned good at the end. But man, if that happened, like, but I mean, who else could be the Black Panther other than Michael B. Jordan? Like, come on, man, like that's a perfect fit. Only Chadwick Boseman could have been, you know. But now. I think his sister, and to be, if I'm not completely wrong, I may be wrong, but a couple of my buddies are comic book gurus, and they say comic accuracy is the sister. The, yeah. From what I've heard. They've told me the same thing. Which is still bullshit, I don't care. You, whoever wrote that Break sucks. the mold. Break the mold. Well, with how, how Disney's looking right now, it's probably going to end up being that way. Whatever. Which is why it's going to be hard for me. I did the, the, what do you call it, the trailer? That shit was dope, Epic. though. I still think that last, that little clip with the suit and the gold claws. It looks a little feminine to me. Does it? Fuck, yeah. man. I wanted to have high hopes and say it was He's Killmonger. Like, oh, bro, it looks like Killmonger. It's gold and black. And I was like, yeah. Then the legs are like fucking, legs, legs, legs are like wrist. half the size of Creed and like <laughs> forearms are like his like ankle. Yeah. So I'm like, dang it. I don't know. <clears throat> that would have been the most epic comeback, though, of have, having K- Killmonger become the Black Panther. Although the how they pay homage to him in the tr- trailer with his like, I'm wondering how they're gonna play that off. How he, how he died, right? Or where or he why went? Why he's not? Why there. he's not there? Yeah, that's the most one. That's as almost the same level as when Paul Walker died. Paul Walker died. Same level and, of sadness. Yeah, where it was just like, in the fuck, franchise. How do you do that? You know, because in Fast and Furious they never killed him off. No, he's just not there. He's working or he's helping take care of the kids or. He's doing something, right? And what's crazy is they use and his then, brother. Yeah, but and then in the last, last, <clears throat> last and Furious, he pulls up at the end, right? And you're like, oh, shit. CGI. Movie, right? Well, you don't see him. You just see his car pull up. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Skyline, and then it's over, right? You're like, oh, what the fuck? Right? So in this, do they kill him off? Is it Remembrance? Is he, did he stay somewhere, right? Is he in another, because of the time zones, like how people got uh, flipped? You know the the Spider Man, yeah. Spider where everyone got teleported. Did he get? <coughs> is he gone now? Like he just disappeared? So we don't know where he is. Is he in the multiverse somewhere? I think he goes to the ancestral plane, like to finally be with his father, because he feels his. But if that happens, he dies. I know. Maybe so. he had some realization where his time is up. How the? I, I'm That's so what I'm saying. so I'm confused gonna, how they're gonna he's do so that. Young and his dad didn't leave until he was like old, old, old. So I don't see gonna be interesting how they play that off yeah curious so this this review just turned into the shang chi four review movie reviews and a wakanda Upcoming. uh trailer review we reviewed four movies at once that's okay we get shit done yeah how do you rate it shang chi or wakanda the original black panther oh black panther really yeah man you're really attached to that movie hey well it's Black Panther. We I'm, that's a whole other conversation. That review of that movie, and that story of him, because for me, what did it? It was like yes, the storyline of him acting in the movie, but it, it's deeper than that. Because for me, it's what he was going through also while filming it. Okay, well we'll save that for another. That's day. a whole other conversation. I could go into. That's a whole other episode. Yeah. I'll show up in a Black Panther mask. I'll bring my suit. Yeah, we'll bring my. Do that one next. I'll bring my Black Panther sneakers. I got it all. Head head to toe. Much. Hey, inspiration. It, I can, I speak ABC. <laughs> Jesus fuck. What time is it? That's why. Jesus. Well, my Chinese isn't good. Oh, ah, all good. I speak ABC. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, we love you. That is totally you. You got to do your hairdo like that too. This dude's Bro. fucking hairdo had like some pink streaks in it, and it was going like up into the side, like there's something about Mary shit. How did it go? What is that on your ear? Is that a hair gel? I could use. No, no, no! Don't. I just ran out. I know it's crazy. <laughs> I could use some hair gel. Oh God, that would be so horrible. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and who the fuck shoots on their ear? How does it even happen? I mean, he's he's a shooter. <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> but you're going this way, and this shit went. <laughs> well, what, remember when he turned? I mean, hey, gravity, I, I don't know. That shit's weird to me. 
Is that hair gel? <sighs> yeah. That was hilarious. That's fucking disgusting. Rating for you for Shang-Chi. Ooh. Nine and a half out of ten. If they wouldn't have done that woke shit with fucking homeboy, we would have got a ten. Which woke shit? Razor Fist? Yeah. Because <laughs> they completely changed his character dynamic. He went from being, oh, it's my truck. Like, what the fuck? Pink font, graffiti, Razor Fist. Yeah. Like, that was li- literally the point five that did it for you? Yeah. Wow. Pissed me off. It's like that. Point five, huh? I gave it the same, though. Like, not quite ten. I would say nine five. But it was good. Like I, oh, yeah. it's one of those movies you can turn on and you fucking you're into it from when it starts yep. to when it's over. You're so, glued, even though you've seen it ten times. Yeah, it's a high rating, makes you laugh. There's sad moments and you're like, oh fuck. There's relatable moments. Action's good, right? For me, I really, I just like good storyline. I just like being lost in movies. Yes. If I can lose myself and just forget about the world and I enjoy the movie. And afterwards, I'm like, oh man, that was cool, right? I enjoy. It. And then the the it looked really good too. Yeah. So visually like it was it was fun to watch and like you said you can sit there like you've seen it 10 times and you're still like whoa that was awesome yeah good job disney well that one we give shang chi nine and a half out of ten we'll have other movie reviews coming out so let us know down below what other movies you want us to review we have tombstone to do we have black panther to do we have um what are the ones people uh no we should do snyder cut Yes, is that the that's a, that's, that's my favorite. That's epic. The, that's my jam right there. That's a great one. Cuz you know Superman's the best. Rude. Oh my god, I have the best idea. What? You'll you'll love this one. Pool of Dead. Deadpool. And I am definitely coming in a suit. But you can't do Deadpool without Harvey cuz he's kind of a weirdo Why? and could recite the entire movie. Well, he's the weirdo. <laughs> I'm leaving it in there. No, you're not. Please don't do that. I save these things in confidence. Plus, that's that's Logan's credit. That's not mine. Pretty, pretty good. Oh, yeah. Pool of Dead. I'm going to come in a full-on suit. I'm going to do that. Canada! <laughs> Listen, Dopender. Great one-liners. Anyway. Well, ladies and gents, it's another movie review for you. Um... Again, it gets a little off topic sometimes, but hey, what the fuck, why not? We tangent like a motherfucker on here. Hopefully we just got you intrigued enough to where you're going to actually go see the movie. Yeah. So go see it. Let us know what you think. Comment down below. We love you. Subscribe, like, comment, share all that good jive. And uh, as always, gang gang. Hi, my name is Jaina. Jaina.